I came across a few of these videos recently in regards to, we'll say, gym etiquette, gym harassment, things of that nature. And I had added them to, I have like lists on, on YouTube and TikTok and everything of like little playlists of videos that I plan on covering um, like this. And uh, I was going to get to it later, but it seems like, you know, this is, everyone's talking about this right now, so I might as well strike while the iron's hot. Uh, there was this video, and the person that originally posted this, we have a couple to go over here. Um, you'll see on uh, the TikTok here, Joey Swole is the video we're going to be actually uh, reacting to, so to speak. But the person who originally made this video is somebody by the name of uh, Jessica.Friends. Uh, I think it's supposed to be friends, but it's just spelled in like a, you know, one of those, one of those ways where like you spell skate, S-K-8, you know, stuff like that. Um, that kind of thing. So anyway, yeah, we're going to get into this because it, this is like, not his response, I don't think, but her original video especially really blew up. So we're going to get into essentially what proper etiquette is when it comes to uh, approaching people that you're attracted to. What is harassment and what isn't harassment and kind of how people, we'll get into it. We'll, 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 yeah, we'll talk about all of it here. All right. This is how to not approach girls at the gym. I hate this, I hate this, I hate when there's sweaters. It's me so uncomfortable. Feral, 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 like fucking feral. By the way, so one of my, um, I just have to point out to add a bit of lev levity, one of my uh, biggest takeaways is that we're hearing Summer by uh, Calvin Harris in the background. Good song. Okay. This is the five as five pounds. And these are the weights. Excuse me? You don't have to do that, it's okay. No, no, it's okay, I got it. Thank you, though. Now, here's the thing, right? Okay, we're gonna go ahead and... Most of the text that we just saw, she's just kind of, like, giving him shit for glancing a couple times, which is a normal thing to do with people in general, especially those that are, you know, attractive and things like that. But, you know, so we have... Man, I wish... I fucking hate TikTok, especially the, um the way that they make their, uh, like, there's, like, no way to properly view this stuff on, uh, on computers. It's, like, exclusively made for mobile devices. It's, I hate it. But anyway, um, so we have her writing here, what if I just ripped, what if I just ripped his pee-pee off out of, uh, sorry, what if I just ripped his pee-pee out of its socket so he could never reproduce again here? Oh, this never mind, guy, can't do that. This guy get angry when I do a this is how to not approach right. girls at the Right, okay, so her whole thing is like she's uncomfortable because this dude is like, he's doing his workout, and he's just like, yeah, he's glancing at her. He is. I won't, I won't deny that. We'll get into all that in a minute here. But, uh, you know, he's just doing his workout. Uh, I think it is a little weird that he comes over and just offers to help, like, out of the blue, but we'll get to it. Excuse me? You don't have to do that. It's okay. No, no, it's okay. I got it. Thank you, though. Okay. Really? Come on. <laughs> so, th okay, this is where we're at. Uh, yeah, what if, so what if I just ripped his pee-pee out of its socket so he could never reproduce again? This is why I don't want kids. Natural selection, better take these weirdos out. Y it, the play button is covering it up a little bit here, but he's going to jail for... whating? Staring at an underage 21-year-old. So, here's the thing, right? Uh, we'll, we'll just kind of break each of these things down here. Uh, you would hope, especially that the, uh, you know, underage 21 year old part is a joke. There's a lot of people that are getting really weird about the, um, uh, age gap discourse, uh, so to speak. A lot of people who are, look, just to break it down really quickly, as long as everybody's consenting adults, which is 18 plus, cool, whatever, you know, um, there are issues as far as like power dynamics and stuff goes for like pursuing an actual relationship. But if you're just like hooking up with someone or you're keeping a, a casual relationship with someone, especially, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And if you are attracted to somebody who is, you know, like that dude's probably what in his like 30s, maybe 40s, but more like probably 30s, late 20s, something like that. 
nothing wrong with him looking at a you know a 21 year old or anything like that um and you know so that's that's the first part now we will we'll get into it here this oh, so this is why i don't want kids you know okay so yeah that was pretty much it but um I have a real issue in general with people. I never see this at my gym, but I have a real issue with people um, just videoing themselves for TikTok and different things and just like putting, like having other people in the background and stuff. Because it's not like the other people in the background necessarily want others to see them. Uh, I myself have talked about this many times before, but I, I am, I am you know, working on, uh, on, on losing weight and getting lean and all that good stuff and building physique and all that. Um, but I'm not there yet. And at one, at some point I will actually show you even from my, in my eyes, at least grotesque starting point to where I am once I've actually reached my goals. But until then, I'm not ready to actually showcase that to the world. When I first started working out, even I was really self-conscious about, um, being in the gym at all it, um especially with what I, I mean like i felt like the shirt i was wearing was too tight and i was like oh this shows off like my my fat rolls and stuff like it i i, I was super self-conscious about it and i just wonder you know obviously there was no one like that in this video specifically but i just wonder if if, if seeing other people like this making content off of like being a, a gym person or whatever if they see that and, and that like discourages them from going to work out because they think, well, I'm going to be caught on camera. I'm going to have this and that and da, 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 da. Um, so, you know, that, that's an issue. There's also the fact that, um, and again, we will uh, get into this a little bit more specifically here in a minute, but the notion of this, this idea of like, you can't, you can't just make like a social mistake. You you can't just like have a moment where you like you say something weird or you do something weird. No, it has to be captured on camera so that everyone remembers that moment. You know the saying that like the, your cringiest moment you don't actually remember or you constantly think about but no one else actually remembers? That's not necessarily true with how a lot of people use social media and I think it's it can be very damaging to a lot of people. Um, a lot of men as well, uh, specifically, and we'll get into this uh, as well, have a very strong aversion to even approaching and flirting with women, asking them out or anything, because they don't want to be seen as creepy and they don't want to be kind of lambasted like, like this guy was. Now, in a minute, we're going to get to where, well, we'll get to it. I'll, I'll give my, my thoughts in a minute. One thing I'll say um, is that, you know, Obviously, yes, he is coming over to make contact. To, you know, he's offering to help her with this because he's trying to, you know, make contact, start a conversation. It's very likely that he's trying. He is not at that point, but he is going to work his way into flirting with her, having conversation, maybe asking for her number. We don't know, but none of the like, it's not bad to try and and approach somebody you find attractive, regardless of theirs or your gender or sex. What's bad is when you are super persistent and creepy to the point where it's like, bro, they, how many times do they got to tell you no? Like, do they need to tell you in a different language? What's the deal? So, but again, we'll get to that in a minute here. See what I mean? No. All right, here we go. I just want to share my perspective on this video. If you guys want to watch the full thing, you can go over to her page. First and foremost, as apparently you can't anymore. I, I went to her page and I couldn't find this. I think she deleted it. I've said before, there is a big difference between staring at somebody and simply looking or glancing at them. So why did this man look at you? Well, you're in front of him off to the side. You're in his peripheral. You're also taking a video with your camera pointed directly at him and you're talking to yourself. He's probably watching you wondering, what is she doing? I know I would. Also, you talk about, why would this man come over and help me load my plates? Well, if you watch the video, he sees that you struggle putting plates on the other side. Now, any experienced lifter out there knows when you have a barbell on the ground, if you're doing hip thrusts, if you're doing deadlifts, it's very difficult to put plates on. There's actually a jack they make for you to be able to lift up the barbell so you can put the plates on. He sees that you struggled being an experienced lifter and he comes over to try and help you because that's what kind people do. Any experienced lifter out there knows what I'm talking about. 
And I saw the comment where you guys talk about this was a man trying to help out a woman because a man would never help a man. That's not true. This is not misogynist. I've been in the gym for 20 years. I can't tell you how many times I've helped men and women load plates, take plates off, put weights back. It has nothing to do with sex or gender. You help people because it's kind to do. But it's very sad that you took an act of kindness, this man doing something for you, being kind, and turned him into a creep at the gym, talking about how you want to rip his reproductive organ off, he can't produce, and that natural selection should take him out? Really? Trying to make yourself out to be a victim, which you're not. There are women harassed in gyms. You're not one of them. You need to do better. Mind your own business. Okay. So a few things. One, I agree with his take overall. I think he's being a little bit too charitable to the dude because, look, yes, he was glancing at her. He found her attractive. He wanted to go approach her. Maybe I'm telling, excuse me, maybe I'm telling on myself a little bit here, but I've done this. People do this all the time. It's, believe it or not, guys, one of the main ways people used to and still do uh, meet other people, whether they find them attractive or they want to make friends or what, whatever the case, they go and approach them and start a conversation with them. And there's nothing wrong with that. It is really weird to see this kind of like reactionary, reflexive um, people that are just kind of like always online, especially on TikTok and Twitter and these different things where they have this, these really weird conversations about... Um, uh, age gaps and these these really weird conversations about like oh don't ever approach like a if you're a dude don't ever approach a woman anywhere like you know it's like and it really um keeps a lot of guys from wanting to approach at all because not even necessarily they're worried about looking like the bad guy but they actually feel like you know they they don't want to give her discomfort most guys most especially well-meaning people no matter how attractive we find somebody we don't, our intention is not to um, cause discomfort to somebody else. Myself, causing discomfort is one of the um, worst things that I think I can do to somebody. Like, I just, I hate doing it. I, I hate, like, I hate, like, being a burden to other people. I hate, um, you know, but that's not a good thing. It's not a good thing to be so afraid of, not confrontation. Um, because in interpersonal relationships, I'm fine with confrontation, but it's, it's not good to be so afraid of, um, being or looking like a weirdo or whatever that you don't even make any approach. You don't do anything. I mean, the reality is if she liked this guy, it would be a completely different story. It would be, oh, this cute guy kept looking at me and then he came over to me, you know, blah, blah, blah. Because the reality is, and I've talked about this before. But when it comes to the difference between attraction versus creepiness, uh, it, or sorry, um, flirting versus creepiness, the majority of it really is about does, does the other person find that person attractive? There are things you can do that are just like kind of unanimously creepy. Like that dude, he's in pretty good shape. I, I'd say he's pretty conventionally attractive overall. So to get that kind of response, I don't know if if um, Jessica was trying to like, use him for, you know, clickbait or something and do this whole like, oh, look at this creepy guy when he didn't do anything. Um, but again, Joey is being a bit, you know, overly charitable to him because, you know, his kind of standpoint is, oh, you know, this is just a thing people do, blah, blah, blah. Maybe it is. I, I can't say it's something that I've seen personally. Um it, although when I go to my gym, everyone kind of stays out of everyone's own way in general. But I've definitely, I mean, I and everyone else looks around at other people at the gym. You make glances, you know, you do different things, you, uh, all that stuff. The important thing is, you know, are you leering, right? Like when you're in public, if you can look at people in general and you can look at people that you find attractive and just think like, damn, they're hot. And, and that's it. And like, you just leave it there. Like you just, you know, Maybe you point it out to your friend or what have you. You know, I went to even a pride parade with one of my best friends uh, who's a, a lesbian. Well, bi, but they, it's weird how they identify bi, but they lean heavily toward lesbian. They kind of interchange between how they even explain it to me. A anyway, their point is they're uh, LGBT. And I, you know, I, I went with them to this. It was my first pride, actually, and it was a lot of fun. One of the things that we did a lot of the time was constantly point out other women that we found attractive to each other, like constantly. 
<laughs> and we've talked about this before, this idea of like, you know, the difference between what is like, you know, creepy objectification and stuff and what is just admiring somebody for their beauty. You know, myself and a lot of people in general, especially if you're putting work at, the, uh, uh, you, excuse me, especially if you're pu putting work in at the gym or something, you want people to notice. Even if it's somebody that you aren't personally attracted to, it's still it's still nice to to feel like oh shit someone's noticing that you know I'm losing weight I'm putting on muscle I'm getting toned I'm getting a bigger ass I'm getting whatever it is you're looking for right um, because it's external validation of what you've been working toward it makes sense now at the same time I don't think the dude really did anything wrong at all. Um, I think that people are being too unchar or too charitable to him by saying, oh, he's just trying to help and he would do this for any guy. I think that part, like what Joey's saying here, I think that part is not true. Yes, he was looking because she's attractive. I very much believe that. But I also don't believe there's anything wrong with that. Similarly, if a girl was looking at a dude like this or anyone else, it wouldn't be a problem either. Um, it would be more important kind of how they approach, um, if they approach at all, and how they how they handle the interaction and everything. Like, for example, that isn't harassment. This is. So, crazy question, uh, silly question, but I'm just curious. All right. I know you don't like coffee. So again, whoops. We have a woman working out here. She's doing the... I leg press, but it's like at a weird angle. Um, I, I've, I've seen these in other gyms that I've been to, but the one I'm going to currently doesn't have uh, this specific machine. But in any case, yeah, she's doing, she's doing leg presses, and this guy comes over. Behold. And I know you don't. And I know you eat cereal. <laughs> here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, read this out here. So, all right. So we have, watch me, watch me get hit on during my set by a married guy. Okay, I can pause it like that. So crazy. So crazy. This is him talking. It's only a question, but I'm just curious. I know you don't like coffee, and I know you don't. And I know you don't. And I know you eat cereal. I know you eat cereal in the evening, yeah, and I know you have a son? Right, yeah, I know you're early 30s. Yeah. And I know you have a son. Okay, and by the way, real quick, uh, there's this, just real quick, there's this, real, there's this thing where a lot of guys like, oh, women hit the wall at 30, women aren't attractive at 30. Guys, there are some really hot 30-year-olds out there, like this woman, for example. Moving on. I know you're hot, at 30. But yes, you can still be hot um, as a man or woman or whatever you are, even as you age. Like, you just gotta, you gotta put in the work, like what she's doing. That's what I'm doing. And if you are around that age or older, it's never too late to start and turn your life around. So I just want to put that out real quick. So he says, I think you're really cool. I know you have a son. I tell you straight up, like... Uh, I know you have a son. I tell you, I, you know, straight up, like... I kinda, kinda I'm really kind of, married. sort of married. Well, not kind of, sort of, I am. <laughs> Yeah, that's great. <laughs> but I don't know. There's something about you that's really cool. Oh, actually, I guess you can... Something casual, but I know if you... Would have pizza with me sometime? And then she says... Uh, yeah, so, you know, he's, he's, he's asking her out. He's, he's asking her pizza. And the part he said about casual, I think he's, I think he's just looking for an affair. I think he's looking for a, for a casual, like, affair with her. But, you know, and she says, I'm pretty sure your wife would not approve of that. I'm pretty sure your wife would not approve of that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. But, but you're up front. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, that's cool. But, yeah. but I'm glad you're up front. Yeah, I mean, you really can't hear that, like, hear this over all the gym noise and stuff. And I know I'm turning it down, but that's because, like, I'm talking over it at this point, And I know how the, I want proper mixing and all that. 
especially since you're married, it's like not absolutely not. And then he says, "That's why I said." I won't say unfortunately. Okay, here we go. But um, sometimes you, I don't know. Sometimes you need somebody that just you have a plan. You know? Ah, fuck it. I'll just I'll just keep reading the rest. I'll go back to it. So he says, like, unfortunately, he's married. I wouldn't say unfortunately because you know being married is good, but sometimes as you need somebody that no, just, just, sometimes you need somebody that you have a connection with. She says, "Yeah, I don't know." But, yeah. Like it's my connection. Yeah, I don't know, but yeah, I like it's my connection would be your connection. And then she says, don't make us lose faith in, in men uh, and humanity. It makes us scared women uh, to like ever want to get married. We don't know. We don't know. Oh god. Uh we don't know if our husbands are out at the gym doing that kind of thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, so you know, I mean I don't blame you. I'm not mad at you. At least you're honest. This is her still talking. Um and he says, I wouldn't have told you. You know what? Speaking of really when you think about it, it's unfair even to like you also. So he says, he's like backpedaling. He's saying, like, really, it's unfair to even, to even do this. What's the point, you know? You know. I mean, the probably the the best scenario is probably the best scenario. And I'm not saying is, this and I'm not happened, saying this would ever happen. But like, seriously, if you knew my wife, you knew my wife and, you know I mean? like, we friends, and we were all friends, that's, that's different. different. And, you and you actually like, okay, I'm sorry, I. I swear, I know I'm going to sound like such a... I, I hate TikTok. I really do. Um, there is so... Like, it's one of those things that, like, I get that it's here and, like, everyone uses it and, like, I and so many people have to, like, adapt to it and, you know, when change happens, we have to adapt. That's fine. I fucking hate it. Like, I, I hate its layout. I hate the, this fucking, like, let's flash forwards on the screen at a time so, like, you can't even read a full sentence. Like, you're reading and broken up. Oh, I hate it so much. Um, okay, let me just try to keep going through you'll probably meet her she hasn't been but she does come sometimes so when i when we're here i'm just literally reading what it says so so she says uh i don't know i will oh my fucking god come on dude what what, what? Like, definitely keep behave yourself. I don't know. I don't know. I oh she told him to behave himself what the fuck? Oh, I, I hate it. I really hate it. Her name is Kirchhoff. Just... Behave yourself. I don't know. I will. I will. Well, we'll have to just definitely keep it like it has a friendly yeah. Alright, she says behave yourself. Definitely have to keep it friendly. Um, okay. Cool. Yeah. We'll keep you Okay. Alright. Feel about it. Like, and then he... Yeah. Okay. Yeah. My numbers. Cool. All right, see you later. All right, so I talked about why the other thing wasn't harassment. We're going to talk about why that was. Okay. First thing, that dude was entirely in the wrong on so many different levels. Um, for one, he was trying to cheat on his wife, which is not good. I've talked about this before. If you want to have some kind of you know open relationship, some kind of non-monogamous relationship with your your partner of any sort. That's all well and good, but infidelity, not okay. Um, so throughout the whole process, I mean, she was super charitable to him. She, she sat down and she, and she literally broke down to him like, look, this doesn't look good for men in general because it makes, you know, it, it, it makes us feel like, well, how do I know that uh, my man isn't going to be like doing this kind of thing if I ever get married or anything like that? And guys, that's one of the issues that a lot of uh, men especially have with women, where they're afraid that women are going to cheat on them because, well, for one, maybe they have a history of hooking up with women who are cheating. And they think, oh, shit, if these girls cheated on their boyfriend with me, my girl might cheat on me with someone else. Um, 
so that's something to keep in mind with all of this stuff. But um, no, so you know why? Why even taking that all of that out of it? Why was that actually harassment? Well, was his approach harassment? No. However, once he started talking to her, and she said, "I don't think your wife would be comfortable with that," and and was, you know, very much shooting him down. You could argue that oh, she should have been more straightforward or something. The problem is a lot of women feel like they can't be straightforward because for one, they don't know how the guy's going to react. You know, uh, women, when they are rejecting men, tend to have to let them down very, 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 very gently. Um, and yeah, I look, I wish everybody could be more straight up too. Look, honestly, I wish we lived in a world where that dude could just come up, uh, be super blunt, just be like, hey, I thought you were hot. Do you want to go out? you want to hook up? Something like that. And then she's just like, hey, I appreciate it, but no. <laughs> you know, like, just, and then he just, all right, cool. Take, you know, take it as a comment, have a good day. Something like that, right? That's not the world we live in, though. Um, but in any case, yeah, he, um, where he should have stopped, well, I mean, again, he was trying to cheat, so not good in the first place, but where he should have stopped when actually approaching her and, and, and trying to, like, not even hit on her, but just ask her out, was where she where she just said no, or, you know, where she said, no, I don't think your wife would be comfortable with that, you know, uh, that kind of thing. And then he could have been like, all right, yeah, I have a good day. You know, that's it, right? And then leave. Um, it is true that people can be, you know, kind of flirty and, you know, there's that whole kind of like, oh, we shouldn't do this sort of thing or, oh, I don't think such and such would be comfortable with that, you know. Um, and, and, and that, that can be done in like a flirty way. This absolutely was not a flirty way. This was very much a get out of my face kind of way. You know, this was like a, um, um, I'm not interested, please leave me alone kind of way. And then again, she sat down and like really like broke it down for him and explained why all of this stuff is like important, uh, like to, to her as a woman. And yeah, it, it totally makes sense. And yeah, um, that, that was an example of harassment, and that was a, a good example from him of what not to do, and a good example from her of what to do if you find yourself in that situation. And just to be clear, while it doesn't happen nearly as often, men get harassed by women too. Women harass other women, men harass other men. It happens, right? People harass people. I'm sure non-binary people you know, can do the same because we're all human beings. We're all equally capable of good and evil and cringe and you know, et cetera. Not every social interaction is going to be perfect and you know all that stuff right but um i don't think i don't think this guy was like evil or anything the worst thing that he was really doing was um trying to cheat on his wife uh not not good but he was definitely in the wrong you know he, he's not like this evil like needs to be burned at the stake kind of person but um or, you know, she'd be, like, arrested or some shit, but, um, it wasn't good. It wasn't, it wasn't a good move on him, and, and she handled the, he, she handled that flawlessly. So, that's a good example of what harassment isn't, go back to it, and what harassment is. Um, yeah. You know, you can make arguments and say, oh, well, if he was better looking, she would have went for it or these different things. Possibly, but it, what's more important is how he acted in the situation. Because even if he was good looking and he acted in that manner, he still wouldn't have pulled. Like, I mean, there's no way he would have had a good interaction with that. He would have gotten a number or gotten a date or, or hooked up with her, any of that. Like, it just wouldn't happen. Not, not when he was carrying himself that way and talking in that way. And, like, you gotta, you know, he wasn't being, like, like calm and cool and, like, you know. Anyway, so uh, we're going to look at another example of, um, I'm pretty sure this went viral. It, it was one of the ones I wanted to talk about where, um, or you'll see, you'll, you'll, you'll see. And when I stand up for myself, he threatens to call. And when I stand oh. up for myself, he threatens. Oh God, here we go again. I gotta read the text. At least it's on YouTube this time. 
Trainer gets caught on camera being a pervert, and when I stand up for myself, he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. Threatens to call the police and revoke my membership. Okay, first of all, those first two do you need some things? No way is anyone gonna hear that. First of all, no one's gonna hear that like with all the racket going around. And even if it wasn't, do you need something? Do you, like that's no one no one's gonna no one's gonna hear that. If you're like right next to him, sure. You weren't. Um So there's that. Also Come on, really? Like again. Nothing wrong with this. Even if he was, you know, briefly checking her out, which I don't even know if that's what he was doing. We don't have the context to know he could have been. Uh, you know, for all, all we know, he could have been working with that dude, and that guy was like, hey, dude, check that girl out over there. And he was like, oh, damn. Like, yeah, she's hot. Cool, great. He didn't, he's not leering. He didn't do anything to actually make her feel uncomfortable. She's just, I don't know, being a bitch? I'm not sure what, how else to phrase it. You know, I, I, I would argue, especially when doing things like this and having it filmed and everything, she is um, explicitly doing this for attention. Just like that woman who kept saying, Farrell, Farrell, fucking Farrell. Like, come on. When does she actually start asking? Okay, I thought so. So then he says, you know, excuse me, what do you mean? What do you mean I thought so? Keep it pushing. If you're getting rude, you can leave. Wait, if you're getting what? Hang on. Are you okay? Keep it pushing. If you're getting if you're getting, if you're getting rude, you can leave. Yeah, because he's a trainer too, right? So you can't just be like Well, he's telling her, yo, if you're gonna be rude to like Anybody, like him himself included, but anybody, you you can leave. Again, I've ne I've never seen this uh, at, at any gyms I've been to, but there are people that go, especially those that record for videos like this, that are super entitled and just, yeah, they they just they make the gym experience worse for everybody. All right, hold that. If you're getting rude, you can leave. Nobody. Nobody was looking at you any type of way. You don't own the gym? <laughs> Neither do you! I don't own the gym I, 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 don't own the gym I work here. Yes. She's okay. I mean, what? I, mean, what? I, can call I can call the police and have you trespassed right now? Have you trespassed? I guess that just means arrested for trespassing. Which wouldn't be accurate, but... I mean, it is, you know, of course, if you, if you, if you do have an altercation where, like, you know, a place of business or a public place like this, and somebody is causing a scene and, you know, security tries to get them to leave or something. Yeah, of course you can, you know, involve the authorities if you need to in that kind of situation. Yeah. Would you like that? Okay. Would you like what? Oh, to, okay. Okay, cool. Go ahead, let him know. So he says, you know, I can have you uh, arrested, trespass. have you trespass right now. Right now. Would you, Would you like, like that? that? Go ahead. Okay, cool. Go ahead, go ahead okay, let him cool. know. Uh, go ahead, let me know. That's what we do. So right now... He says, so right now, I need you to take your stuff and head up front. Take your stuff and head up front. Yeah, I mean, the thing is, like, she... Yeah, she absolutely and made I... made that... All about her. Oh, it's hilarious, by the way, for anyone that's like, oh, well, uh, you know, this is so horrible, uh, if a woman did this, you know, it would be just as bad. No, no, because it was actually recreated with this here. Same, same vibe. Can we? Trainer gets caught on camera being a pervert, and when I stand up for myself, she threatens to revoke my membership. By the way, that that's actually like a little bit longer of a look. That's even more than I do, uh, and I'm very aware of of how I how I glance at people. Excuse me. 
Mm -hmm. Shit, she's even like smiling, she's being like, damn, like, you know, uh, yeah. Something? Now, me personally, you know, got a, got a, you know, hot chick like her, um, looking at you while you're doing something, I'd be like, damn, I must be doing something right. But, um, you know, I, I'd take it as a compliment. But, you know, that's the thing, right? Different kind of people will take these things as compliments or they'll take them as like, oh, I'm being like, I don't know, assaulted with the person's eyes or something. Like, I don't know. There's nothing wrong with just looking at people. It's, it's more important, like, how you look at them and how you interact with them if you do. You know, uh, if, you, if you don't want to be looked at in public, don't go out in public. Like, I'm sorry. Like, anywhere you go, you're going to be looked at. I get looked at all the time. And I, I'm super, like... I've dealt a lot with self-conscious, be, with being self-conscious about like my appearance and everything else, where I always feel like people are looking at me, they're making fun of me. But I've come to realize that's not on them. That's on me. It's I, I, I can't be like, yo, don't look at me because I'm like self-conscious, you know? Um, and, and, you know, especially as I uh, increase my attractiveness and everything and people look at me, you know, that'll turn into confidence. And I'll be like, yeah, they, they should look at me. I'm, I'm, you know, I got it going on. And, and like, those women, yeah, like, take it as a compliment. Don't be, you know, like, if someone is actually being a creep to you, uh, like this guy was, sure, that's an issue. But if someone is just chill and, like, checking you out, well, I mean, she's checking him out. They weren't even really checking these girls out. They were just, you know, glancing. Like, fucking chill. Do you need something? Yeah, why are you looking at I, I couldn't hear what she said and there was no text, but, you know, they're recreating that video, so Koichi was like, uh, you can get it out. Keep it pushing! Oh, Jesus. Okay. So, bottom line with all this here. Yes, sexual harassment does happen, even in gyms. Sexual harassment to women does happen in general, and it's horrible. But just being looked at, even if you're not attractive, just being looked at, just being glanced at, different things like that, there's nothing wrong with that. And if you are somebody that feels bad because you admire other people's beauty, or you just look at people in general because we're social animals, we're going to like look at other people around us, you don't need to feel bad about that. Whatever somebody thinks about how you're looking at them is generally more on them than it is on you not all the time you know you don't want to be a creep you don't want to be like all those different things right um you don't want to leer you don't want to do anything like that but like you can you know you can take a click click you can take a quick look there's nothing wrong with that and there's no reason to feel like there's anything wrong with that or to feel like you can't approach somebody you're attracted to because that's how people end up in these in these situations where they feel very um you know, they, they, they feel very isolated and they feel like they can't, they can't do anything to, to, to get a date or get laid or form any relationships with people, especially men with women. A lot of men that genuinely want to do the right thing with women um, end up in situations where they don't do anything. Because uh, to quote uh, Steve Carell's character in The 40-Year-Old Virgin, I respect women so much I stay completely away from them. A lot of people uh, treat women that way. And this is why, as I've talked about before, it's important for more leftist progressive people to talk about these issues and address them and give proper real like dating advice and stuff. Because, uh, for example, there was this guy. This is the one. This, wait, was that the? OK, yeah. There was this guy that went on this. Um, had this uh, debate, conversation, whatever you want to call it, with Vosh recently where they even said that, you know, they're a male feminist, and they even said they're afraid to approach women and things like that because they don't want to um, cause discomfort to them and different things like that. And while all of that comes from a good place, a lot of it comes from fear of feeling like you're going to make women legitimately feel like this person or this person, and feeling like you're going to be some social pariah when you didn't even do anything wrong. And 
you know, that's just something where like you, you, you can look and admire someone's beauty and their sexuality and all these different things uh, and still respect them. Uh, people that think like, oh, if you're looking at them, then you, you're not respecting them. I think that those people just don't have a good relationship with sex or their body or anything in general. And it really does say more about them than it does you. As long as you're being respectful about people, you can, you can, you can, you know, you can look and admire people's beauty and stuff like that. There's nothing wrong with that. And for those of you that are looked at, especially if it's a little glance like that, um, take it as a compliment. You know, like I said, I very, very much uh, want to, um, you know, be seen in that way by a lot of people, and. Um, you know, women especially, that I find attractive. Um, you know, uh, yeah, if this kind of thing happened to me, take it as a compliment. And uh, yeah, that's it. If you want, and if you do want to approach someone, cool. But if they tell you to back off, back off. Just be respectful of people's autonomy and boundaries and all those different things. You know, and if someone, if you're looking at someone and they notice and they say like, hey, don't look at me, Maybe don't look at them, right? Um, but if they're just, you know, they don't, you know, you don't need to make a scene or anything like this uh, if, if these kind of things occur. So, yeah, uh, that's really all I have to say on this matter. Like I said, I was planning on covering that anyway, but uh, considering it's been it, like everyone's <laughs> talking about it now, it really blew up. I decided to tackle it now. So, um, yeah, as always, these are my thoughts. Please let me know what yours are in the comments down below. Follow me on social media for more. Links in the description. Leave a uh, like if you like. Subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date. And uh, if you didn't, then I hope you find something you do like. Later, guys. Peace and love.